that time again for another Q&A folks back here in front of the whiteboard. I uh, wanted to answer this question. Let me read it to you. I uh, hope you're having a good day by the way. This gentleman is asking, I uh, was wondering if you could sometimes talk a little bit about the future of network engineers. I heard a lot of senior level guys saying that with SDN there will be less open network positions and I kind of disagree with that. Um, which is what he said, by the way. So if you could mention this topic on your videos, I'd appreciate it. Thanks from Europe. Great question, by the way. Um, I agree with you that you disagree with that. <laughs> that sounded kind of weird, right? Um, SDN, guys and gals, is just a new term called software-defined networking, all right? It's, it's still a relatively new uh, technology that's being adopted slowly but there's according to what I'm reading lately uh, there's there's a big shift going towards that uh, that new technology I'm not going to get into it because it's a pretty it's a pretty deep topic and there's plenty of information out there on the internet that you can read about but to address your question about the future of network engineers and and the threat of their jobs, you know, because of the way uh, SDN will be working. And just to give you a little insight as to what it is, it's basically a virtualized network, okay? It's cloud-based, it's automated, you know, you can push out policies and applications on the fly, it's scalable. Um, so I guess there's this you know, there, there's there's this one side that uh, that says, okay, well, you know, this is going to be awesome for for companies because it because of the usability, easy to manage, and then the other side says, well, you know, what's going to happen to current network engineers and network administrators and, and and those people that are that are working with the physical products and uh, you know the hardware and and whatnot. So, it, really, it comes down to this. It, SDN still has to run on hardware, okay? And virtualization doesn't mean that it's just floating in the air. <laughs> so you, there, there's still servers that need to be managed to run the software that, that this stuff will work with, okay? So the idea that, that jobs will be lost over this new technology, I think is, is, is over-exaggerated, for lack of a better term. I don't, I don't see that happening, okay? In fact, it might even provide or give up more opportunities for people already in that industry to learn something new, okay? There's even certifications for, for SDN that are out there that you, can, that you can take if that's something that you wanna dive into as, a, as another niche, if you will. So, I, I wouldn't feel threatened by it. I, in fact, I, I think it's a pretty cool technology that, that companies are going to start embracing because of the, the, the ease of use, the scalability, the speed at which you can automate application in, you know implementations and whatnot. So I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be worried about that whatsoever. you know In fact, start studying about cloud-based software, virtualization, get up on get up to speed on virtualization. In, uh, in, in that area so that when it comes time to be introduced to that, you're already familiar with it. Or if you're already working with a company that's thinking about going that direction, you've got the upper hand on it, okay? So start studying on your own and thinking about how can I improve myself in that area so that when the time comes, I'm ready. I can come to the boss and say, look, I can do this. You know what I'm saying? Be proactive about it. And it goes back to my message all the time is we get paid on the value that we bring to the marketplace. And so whatever value that you provide and uh, that you can go and grab a hold of yourself, the more power to you in the world. So I wouldn't be afraid of job loss with, with network engineers and network administration. There's still software to be maintained. There's still hardware to be maintained. And, you know, robots can't maintain hardware. <laughs> that's that's going to be a long ways away before that happens. So there still has to be somebody behind that keyboard. There still has to be somebody that 
you know, if a network switch or a router or something goes down, somebody's got to go and fix the damn thing, you know, physically. So, uh, you know, there's always going to be jobs, folks. You just got to find, you have to find them. You've got to be alert of what's happening in the industry. You've got to always be on top of, you know, what's changing so that you know what direction to go in so that you're quote unquote safe and that you can, you can find work in that area, okay? Because there will be jobs that are going to slide off the map, all right? You don't want to be one of those. So stay on top of your game and you'll be fine. That's all you can do. Hope that helps you out. Uh, if this is your first time here, welcome. Uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel as well. For all of you that have been watching my videos for a while, and I love you guys, I appreciate you guys and gals, and I love the questions that keep coming in. If you have more questions, post them at the bottom of this video. It doesn't have to be related to this topic, I don't care. Um, you can send me a private message as well. And uh, make sure you click the link below and grab my resource guide too. So we'll talk to you on the next video. Hope you're doing awesome. We'll see you later.